Howdy everyone and thanks for tuning into this video. This is a video, um, I don't know, documentary I guess, of a failure mode that I think I've discovered with the Phoenix MC10 Angle Light. So I've owned this light for about a week and it's been a great light. I use it all over the house uh, all the time. and. I think I've gotten the switch. I'm not sure if my light is defective or not. I don't think it is. I'm not going to return it for an RMA. I don't think it's. I don't think it's worth that. But I've gotten the switch to fail and accidentally turn on um, using the electrostatic charge in my fleece sweatpants. So I've owned this light again for a week, and there have been several times where I put the light in my pocket, only to find it turn on automatically as I simply walk around the house. So um, a key point is it's we've had a very a semi dry winter but it's the, it's in the middle of winter right now so my house is uh, the ambient air conditioning uh, I'm sorry the ambient heater in my house is has dried the air out inside my house fairly significantly so it's not a high humidity environment uh, at all. I don't know if that's a factor but it's something I think that could contribute to the failure mode. So at any rate, I'm going to turn the camera around so to face me. Okay, that's me right there and here's the light. So obviously it's off and to turn it on I simply press the button on, off, on, and off. So now that the light is obviously off, okay I'm going to stand back a little bit Okay, I put now I put the light into the pocket of my sweatpants. My again, fleece sweatpants. I've only found this to work with or to fail, I guess, with fleece sweatpants, not cotton or anything like that. Obviously, the light is off. I'm gonna drop it down to the bottom of my pocket, and I'm just gonna shake it around inside my pocket a little bit. For about I don't know, ten seconds or so. Okay. Obviously, that's exaggerated movement, but oops, it didn't it didn't work that time. Okay, again, it, it's it's hit or miss. Okay, I'm gonna try it again and move it around a little bit. And try again, and there you have it. The light has magically turned on. I don't know if mine is unique, so if there's any other MC10 owners out there. I'd be, I would love to hear someone else's take on this if you guys can also get yours to fail in the same way. I'm going to try it again. The light is off. Drop it in my pocket. Shake it around a bit. Obviously this is exaggerated motion, but I can get it to fail this way just walking around the house too. And there you have it. The light is now on again. So at first I thought maybe the switch was faulty. So then I tried obviously shaking it and just banging on it, trying to get it to fail in some way, shape, or form. And obviously, you know, doing this, I simply can't get it to fail. Or maybe gently, a little more gently. So I don't think, it, I don't think it's a mechanical failure with the switch mechanism. Being an electronic switch, that might play a factor as well because I've never had a click switch, a mechanical click switch or a twisty cap fail in this way. I'm going to do it one more time just to show you. Light is off in my pocket. This reminds me of, do you remember Shake and Bake? Anybody old enough out there to remember Shake and Bake, that chicken you shake around in the crumbs? Shake and Bake and there you have it, the light is on. So I think I've found a rather unusual failure mode with this flashlight. So I'm not sure if I'm going to return this to Phoenix under RMA simply because I would imagine all the lights are going to suffer this type of failure under these ambient uh, conditions with this type of clothing. So again, just to repeat the fact, I can't get it to do this with, you know, like cotton or anything like that. It's only synthetic fiber, polar fleece uh, sweats. So. So in that light, um, if you're pack carrying this light and you're surrounding the light with a synthetic fiber, like in a backpack, a nylon or a nylon pouch, you might want to think twice about it. You might want to be very careful. Number one, store the light and lock in the uh, low mode 
so there's low. So lock in low mode, so at least if the light does turn on, you're not going to drain your battery right away. Second thing is probably, you should probably simply store it without the battery. Okay, and for what it's worth, I'm using an Energizer 2450 nickel metal hydride for this uh, demonstration. I haven't tried it with alkalines yet. I'm not, sh I'm not sure if it does the same thing with alkalines uh, or not. Um, I guess the third thing, even though Phoenix doesn't advertise it as having such, you could simply unscrew the tail cap a little bit and it effectively locks out the power supply. Although Phoenix doesn't advertise this light as having a lockout tail cap, mine seems to pre perform that way. Okay, and just for one more time, for kicks and giggles, same thing, sweatpants, pocket, chicken, shake and bake. And take it out, and let's see what it does. Sure enough, the light is magically on. Kind of nice if I could figure out a way to solve this, but I think right now I'm just probably going to be very careful and maybe store or pack carry the light uh, without a cell in it. That's probably probably the easiest way, okay? So anyhow, thanks for tuning into this video. Um, treat this as, I guess, like a warning for other uh, Phoenix MC10 owners. Um, mine has this quirk with it. I'm not sure if yours does or does not or what have you. So, thanks again.